Hi everyone, it's Ian from CRPS RSD and RSD CRPS supporting each other. Uh, we're here at the Abilities Expo. Um, we're going to give you a little walkthrough of it for all of us who aren't able to get here today so that at least you guys are able to see what's available and you can start getting uh, some of the help that you require. So I'm going to turn you around and I'm going to uh, flip the camera. All right. So we have a nice little area over here where they've been doing all kinds of neat things like uh, dancing and um, all kinds of little sports shows. As you can see, they got a nice big open area here so that you all can see, see what's going on. You can participate, things like basketball, um, especially for people who are in chairs, hockey. There is a refreshment area. Oh, sorry, you might not see that from that angle. There is a refreshment area so that we can all get our refreshments. As well as there's a workshop area where you're able to see all the different uh, things that are going on. Today there's uh, medical errors and disabilities and what you need to know. and. Uh, collaborative, investive uh, therapy, making it fun and functional. Uh, we have direct funding here. This is a way so that you can help get your uh, funding for your, uh, for your own um, home care. Um, we'll go over to Go Transit in a minute. Um, I actually want you guys to see this. These guys are actually pretty cool. Sorry about the camera placement. Okay. Um, these guys have wicked technology. Uh, what they're doing is they're actually allowing people to be able to see that have um, different fields of vision. That you might not be able to see something directly in front of you, but maybe you have more peripheral or maybe vice versa. They can actually help you see. Best part, Canadian made people. Support Canadians and our technology. If it wasn't for us, we wouldn't be where we are in the medical community. We'll be circling back. I hope everybody goes and sees you guys. Okay. Now we also have Go Transit here. They're here so that you guys can help get all the right information. You can actually come and try and get onto a Go bus. If you've never been on one before, it gives you an opportunity to sit and learn. Um, as you can see, the bus is kind of closed right now, but that's okay. Um, they will have it open up later on. As you can see, they've got the little ramp, lets you get on. Uh, I know all of you have seen my other videos about how to get on and off buses and city buses and whatnot. We also have our friends here at Envacare. They have some really interesting little devices that are out. A uh, nice little four-wheel model. Looks like it could be an R8 outdoor model. Uh, there isn't a representative here from there yet um, but they do have all their other nice little chairs um, we'll come down this side here as you can see they've got some neat little ones this is a nice one not a big fan of the uh, seating arrangement but it's perfect for uh, for kids it's got similar to an eye level feature on it uh, this one is actually a really neat little one. It gives them a, a communication board um, as well as, you know, the ability to recline. This is something that all of us need to pay attention. Oh, sorry. This is something all of us need to truly pay attention on. A good hospital bed. Make sure about the companies that you go to for them. Uh, I have a dry bed. Um, I prefer the way that this one is set up. If you can see the core, I like the way that the core is set up on it. Grab bars for all of us who have problems standing. Oh, that's a handy uh, toilet seat for when you need it. Look, some other nice little toilet seats. I know it's not something that we all want to talk about, but it is something that is required. Um, okay, one sec. 
All right, everybody. Apparently, one of the reps from Go would like to speak with us, so um, we'll be talking to you guys in a little bit. Be safe now. Hi, everybody. We're back at it. Um, we finished talking with our friends at Go, so I'm going to flip the camera around. And uh, here we go. This place is called A1 Mobility. They've got a really cool mobility lift here. Um, this model does 800 pounds from what he was telling me the other day. And you can get commercial units up to 1,000 pounds. Available for pretty much any vehicle, yes? Yeah, any, any minivan. Any minivan? Uh, and as you can see, with a portable hand controller, you guys can operate it yourselves. You don't have to have a caregiver with you at all times. It looks like the one from Go Transit. Better. <laughs> See, and look, beautiful, folds right in, then you close your doors, and you can see on the uh, thing there, 360 kilos, you know, that's almost 800 pounds, that would take this chair, my dog, me, probably take the uh, Trackmaster chair that I'll be uh, showing you guys in a few minutes. Excellent piece of technology, we'll be putting up the information for, um, for online later on so that you guys can check them out a little bit more. Thank you very much, guys. Be very safe in your day. Oh yeah, we'll tag everybody in all of this. Here's another one, this is Air Wheel. This is a really nice little company. They've got small little chairs. One sec, let me turn around for you. It's a different kind of wheel design, as well as they have these little guys. They can hook up to just about any manual chair and it gives you the opportunity of running around at bicycle speeds again, almost like an e-bike. As you can see, they've also got some of the high quality tires, better quality spokes. I like those construction of spokes, very, very nice stuff. Um, bath fitter, obviously. I didn't even get to do care yet. Oh, I'm sorry. I've already taken care of Invacare. I know. Like it's I okay. Take care of them and I'll circle back to you. I was getting your voice on this one. Oh, okay. Well, all right, everybody. We're going to go back over to Invacare for a couple minutes, which is no big deal. Another good little company that's got all kinds of really wicked little different chairs, different features. Hey, hey everybody. Hi. Not bad. How are you? We're doing a live video. Are you? Yeah. yeah. Is, is that okay if we have you guys in a live video? Not a problem at all. We have a lot of patrons that are around the world that aren't necessarily able to get to these expos. Okay. So we're trying to show them what's available. Nice. There you go. Yeah, so we do little snippets of each company, and then we're going to make one live video about the Abilities Expo and take all the companies in. <laughs> there you go. Um, you guys have any questions at all so far on this stuff? On the just, products? what's new? Just what's let us new? know what's new. Okay, well, we have the uh, ZBX 2 that we're launching uh, next month. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Dusty there. Well, yeah, this area gets dusty. It's all the planes. Yeah, and everyone comes in this way here as well, right? So, there were... Oh, oh, stuff oh. To... oh, I'm sorry. Thank you very no, much. No problem. Sometimes I don't feel it slip. <laughs> so, yeah, this is our new product. It is the um, TDX V2. And what's nice about it is you can do live programming on the chair. Oh, oh on the fly? On the fly. Yeah. I like that. That's and cool. it's, got, it's got a lot of new... Um, abilities for the chair as well okay like now we have uh, a max turning speed okay. right so what happens is when you're going into a turn mm -hmm. you don't lose the speed i get you oh. it, right? it'll so uh, you could actually, maintain you know, momentum yeah you could actually do like a slalom basically excellent and not awesome. lose any speed which is really nice mm -hmm. um now is this one able to be fitted with independent leg movement back movement all that everything. excellent yeah. So it can be fitted with a full set chair. Yep, exactly. <coughs> Excellent. That's an important thing. Yes, yeah, so they have the new light package on there. 
Excellent, and you can excellent. Also change the, um, so you can kind of deck it out a bit more now. Excellent. It's a nice so, display too. Yeah, so I'll bring that around too so you can see it a bit better. Yeah. I think we might be in the same room. Oh, okay. Okay, so you can actually change the rims on it. Oh, oh that's nice. cool. Jeez. I don't want to do it now, but, but yeah, these they pop, pop off, okay. and you can put new ones on. So maybe it depends on what you're wearing that day. If you want to have red rims, <laughs> green rims, right? that's a I sick like that. idea. The other nice thing too is, um, is it's yeah, got a display. nice display on it. The that's best cute. part is it's touch screen. Oh, see, and that's what I—that's the issue with his. Is and I pretend it's touch screen and it's not. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> you can also change to different profiles. Uh -huh. Right, okay. so I have to swipe up or down, different profiles. Oh, that's cool. I can have. Um, so it's not touch screen to do this kind of movement yet. Okay. Right, but that's but for selecting the feature. It, right. Yeah, and you do also have a glove mode. A so glove if you mode. have gloves on, oh, it okay. still works. I get oh, you. That's cool. That's some really nice fur in there. That's actually really cool. Interesting shot design. I like that. Out of curiosity, how high of a grade can you go up, like when, uh, when you're say taking a curb or whatnot? Uh, about an inch and a half to two inches. The thing okay. is, it's when you're looking at that kind of stuff, right? Oh, I know um, that there's. Oh, you even have special settings for that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. okay. So we what we do is we have you know like. Um, a ramps and curves mode. Okay. okay. So it gives you some more torque to get up and over the top of those. I get now, you. Now, with anything with a six inch caster. Yeah, it's all going to be. Physics, you only got a three inch curb. Yeah, anything that's higher max. than that, you're not going to climb up and over okay. it. Right? No, no. So, and are these casters better than like those ones? Are they less chipping on them? Honestly, um, it's been going on in the streets for a while. We haven't heard any chips better. in the casters. Okay. The and compared to the. These ones, they're, they're still the rubber tires, but yeah, they're, they're, they're chipping a lot. Yeah, yeah. Even with the GDX P1, mm -hmm. we never had the problem that much okay. with the chipping of the caster flight. Okay. But yeah, no, these come with a fully loaded system. Um, I do like that feature. And is this one being covered by ADP? Yes, it is. Yeah. Uh, it's so... already ADP approved. Okay. We just haven't done the hard launch yet. We want to do it properly. Okay. Right, so the hard launch will be next month in February. Okay. okay. Yeah. So yeah, it's ADP approved. It's all ready to go. Okay. Excellent. There you go, guys. Something to think about. ADP approved if you're in Ontario which means that most likely all across Canada, you'll be able to get it approved through your insurance company. And down in the U.S., chances are, because you guys are still available in the U.S., yes? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, guys? No, we're still worldwide. There you go. Worldwide. If this is something that you're looking for, go for it. If it's something that your OT doctor is recommending, go with it. It's a good device. I've seen a lot of people in Hamilton have the Invicares, and I have to admit, they're pretty peppy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. pretty peppy. Yeah, I don't know. This one's programmed. Yeah, I'm gonna do some programming later on. I just got in, yeah, but um, when awesome. we when we were doing our testing mm. in our in service just for our, our staff, yes, um, we had these things just rocking like it was like a tornado going around in circles and the speed on them. And what's uh, what's max speed on that one? Max speed is six uh, uh, miles six per hour. Okay, it's still so on ten, a so about ten kilometers yeah, an hour. 10, 11, yeah, about ten, eleven. Yeah, I mean, on a, that's more um, than enough on a sidewalk. It feels a lot faster. Oh, I know. <laughs> this this one does uh, ten point four. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's it, that's quick enough for a six wheel design. I can't drive it at that. I go like that two kilometers an hour when I'm back. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Yeah. But no, that's wonderful. Thank you so much. No problem. You just threw some, uh, some oh, more. I'm like, losing more here. Okay, you, Tiff. Okay? I, um, yeah, that actually like, might, I might be. I might be able to have something like you guys Oh, that would be wonderful. I I. I stopped it. That's fine. And then we can continue adding another one. Okay, sure. Just take that. That's actually really nice. I like that one. Yeah, it's really nice. Right yeah. We'll have to see what goes on with that. I got this. This should be big enough. Perfect. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, that's perfect. That's perfect. I like how they're not too big either, right? So you can they're actually just right. Around. So I can go like this and. They don't hang down too far. I actually have one of your Invicare backpacks. Oh, do you? Nice. Yeah. Okay. He got, he, he, he bought it off of the wheelchair. Somebody was throwing it away. So you so, yeah. with the water bottle. Oh, wow. Oh, one of those good ones. Yeah, yeah one of the yeah, really nice ones. Yeah, I love those ones. That was supposed to be a long time. Yeah, yeah brand new condition. Place. So, eh, yeah, what the heck? Cool. Okay, yeah. brand new water bottle and everything. I, so I think there was a promo a couple of years ago. We were giving them away, I think, every, uh, every Solera. Yeah. Mm. Five wheelchairs. Yeah. What yeah, we've got a few more things out as well, but that's basically our, our biggest thing. No, it's a nice one. I like it. I really, really like uh, it. The Roby? Yes, no. I have. Uh, I, I myself have. You, 
CEO. Yeah. That's a nice one too. Okay. It is. Um, my my youngest is sitting up over there. Oh. Yeah, I, I did a I did a quick little look through on that one when I was going by. That's a beautiful chair. Yeah. Good seeing you on it. I really I like, like how you guys have done the pediatric setups, you know? Yeah. And so the row B, just so you guys know, is 23 and a quarter inches wide on the base. Uh -huh. Oh, that's nice. the most narrow base on the market. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, that's awfully narrow. Does that uh, device there, does that fit on buses, uh, the scooter? Back up. Back up. Um, yeah, it fits. Good girl. Um, what's, its, what's its dimensions? No, 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 no. It's all about dimensions. What are its what are its dimensions? Because I know in Hamilton it's a maximum of thirty six inches wide, and um, maximum fifty inches long. It's usually pretty universal across the board like that. Is it? Yeah, because I used yeah. to actually work at uh, Orthopedic Services down in Hamilton oh, yeah. many many years ago. Well, they I know that they updated the. Uh, the seating arrangements to accommodate some of the larger devices. Um, I have Daymac rickshaw at home, and uh, yeah, it doesn't fit. <laughs> it's sixty oh, inches. Right? It's yeah. sixty inches long. Yeah, so this is fifty-seven. Yeah, that won't fit. It's still too long. So the Pegasus four wheel, which is right there. Yeah, that one would fit. Yeah, that's the one that I but do yeah, see on all the yeah. time. This is um, more of an all-terrain. Yeah. Is it a four wheel, or is it like four wheel drive, or just two wheel drive? Just two wheel. Okay. Just in the back, but bigger motors. You know, bigger gears. Excellent, excellent. More torque. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. All right, Miss Bell. And then what they did on these two is you have a digital display on these. And these oh. are interchangeable on the separate room? Yes. And that's why we're telling we're selling them actually when you order them. Mm -hmm. It actually comes without these on it because oh. you can pop these off and put new ones on. <laughs> okay. Right? I like it. I like you it. know, a lot of the times you're scratching these up going through doorways. Yep. Right? On most scooters, that's where most of the damage is. Yeah. I do cool. agree. So yeah, I don't know if you want to have this. Yeah, yeah, we got one of these ones. Because the digital display is actually quite nice on it. Yeah, that's what I was. I, I took a video of that. That's awesome. That's neat. I do like it. I like that it's customizable too. Yeah, that's what we're trying to do. You know, we're trying to meet everyone's needs. Because it, it makes it more. Maybe right. It's like a car. Yeah. For someone who can't drive, this is their car. Oh, exactly. So it's really yeah, cool. Or people that used to drive. I right? used to. They didn't want me to drive anymore because of the pharmaceuticals I was on. No, that's right. Anyway. Now I'm no longer on pharmaceuticals, so I'm going to try and get my license back. Oh, nice. I there you go. Yeah. Mine, so. Might as well, right? So Thank no, you. All right. Let's let's see what else we got on the go here. Uh, yeah. Oh, look, Universal Motions. Mm. Okay, guys, look, this is this is a company called Easy Lift. Why? Sorry, Easy Life. They have lift chairs like this. Wicked, wicked stuff. Especially for CRPS patients trying to get up, especially when it's painful, transferring from one chair to another. Good idea. I really like it. As you can see, all of these ones, they're all power chairs. Hello, how are you today? Good. Always like seeing magic. Oh, look at this, everybody. This one is all fully remote control. Look how small this thing folds up. That's Say what? Awesome. No way. Oh, perfect. Awesome. Look at that. That's absolutely perfect for all of us who are trying to get around who don't need the independent back and leg movement. That's perfect. Basic yeah, for your short trips, going around doing some quick shopping, perfect. Look at that. They even got snazzy colors all the way through it too. What do you know? <laughs> and I picked up their information and we'll be posting it online. You see, look everybody. Okay, now let's keep going down the line because we've got a lot of places to uh, to visit here.
Universal Motions. They sit there and they do the uh, uh, the mobility accessible vehicles, so you can get in through the back or through the side. See, we got these guys here. I, I've seen their stuff before, but I don't think it will work too well for our condition guys. But wicked idea! I absolutely love it. Allows you to walk around a little bit more efficiently. And here we have TTC helping to support the disabled community. This is something we all should keep on our uh, on our devices. Very handy for when we're trying to get around. Wonderful stuff. This bell. This one. Look, they've got the uh, Canadian Hearing Society, so that you guys can all get your uh, hearing taken care of. This is a good company here, March of Dimes. They're always helping the less fortunate out, as well as the disabled, if you need help modifying your home. Um, they're going to help you modify your home, your vehicle, um, all of these kinds of things. They can definitely help with stroke recovery. Um, they got all kinds of really neat things on the go. We also have uh, motion specialties here. They are the only place where you're able to get a SEP chair in Ontario. And they also have uh, these amazing bikes as well. Um, really, really handy stuff. Kids with special needs. Um, they've got these specialized chairs for pediatrics and for you know pretty much anybody that'll oh sorry sir you see look we got all kinds of neat little ways of setting things up motion specialties they really do take care of the kids yeah they really do take care of the kids you know our, our children with disabilities we really need to take care of them as you can see, we've also got all the other stuff available there. Try and angle that a little bit better for you. I apologize. Focus. No. Focus. Focus, Miss Bell. We have Doctor. We have Doctor Ho here. This is something that we actually recommend for all CRPS patients, so, is a hyperbaric chamber. This is a portable unit, really good idea. Hyperbaric chambers, they really do help a lot. No. We're good, thank you. <laughs> Let's see we have accessibility Ontario here always good equip kids international help get the mobility aids out to the children that need them it's very very important guys motion composites these guys have really neat chairs they almost look like uh, transformers I got to see a demonstration of them the other day. They're, they're pretty neat little chairs. Now let's see here. We have her mobile on the other side here. We have Guantum. As you all know, I have a Guantum Q6 Edge. This is a forefront. It's a pretty neat little device. It's supposed to be a little bit more of an off-roady device. There's the Edge 2 with the eye level features. Pride Go chairs. These are brand new on the market this year. They even have them for pediatrics. Really, really cool. Little tiny batteries. Perfect setup. Let's see. There, there's the pediatric version. Uh, this is one that I really wanted to show everybody because it's the one that's getting a lot of heavy duty attention. This 
my friends, is the brand new Quantum Q Edge 3. This thing is sick. It's got the independent back leg movement, eye level, recline feature. This thing's got all the bells and whistles. Um, it's got air compressed shocks that's been weather tested to minus 30. We will do some more throughout the day. Um, I wanted I wanted to give them a quick... Oh, well, we'll do the track master later. All right. So I'm going to spin this around. Those are some of the major ones, guys. We're heading back to our booth so that we can continue to help spread proper awareness about cannabis, about CRPS, about chronic pain, and helping people get the correct information that they require so that they can get healing. Okay? Have a great one. Come down, check us out. Uh, 6900 Airport Road. We're at Airport and Dairy Road. Booth 328. Come in. Registration is free. Entrance is free. Come have a good time. Enjoy yourself. And uh, if you don't feel at home out in the community, this is a great place to start feeling at home as um, everybody around here is disabled in one way or another or trying to help somebody who's disabled. So we all know what it's like. Thank you very much. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you all soon, okay? Hi everybody, it's Ian and Tiffany here from CRPS RSD and RSD CRPS supporting each other. As you can see, we're at the Abilities Expo. We're at our booth here, number 328. Let me turn our uh, camera around here. We've got our table here. We've got some service dog people across the way here. St. John's Ambulance. Learn how to protect your pets, especially when something goes wrong. We've got a whole bunch of different things around. What we're going to do is we're going to go around a little bit later on, and we're going to uh, give you guys a walking tour of the entire facility so that you can see what's going on. Take a look at some of the new brawn ability stuff that's available. Her mobile is here. Um, our Miss Bell is here. Um, Pride is here. They've got Guantum here. Even Go Bus is here. Have we got a couple of nice videos to show them, eh, guys? <laughs> Well, we can't wait to uh, show you guys all around. We're going to let people um, mingle a little bit more before we do a uh, walk around. Probably wait a little bit closer to, uh, say, just after uh, lunchtime. And um, I hope everybody has a great day. Hope you're able to come down and see us. We're going to be speaking at 2.30 to 3.30. Come down, check us out. Get some good information about complex regional pain syndrome as well as, you know, chronic pain in general, as well as give yourself an opportunity to check everything out. Catch y'all later. Be safe. Hi, everyone. We're going to finish up our, uh, our live broadcast of the rest of the Abilities Expo. And, um, we're going to try and get everybody in here. Um, good place to start, right across from us. We've got some nice hand cream places. We have St. John's Ambulance here. Actually teaching you stuff about your dog. And if you have a service dog, you're going to want to know how to treat your dog for basic shit. Here is Smith Haven. They've actually been featured on Animal Planet's Collar of Duty. Um, I recommend talking to them about different items in, in, in with regards to your service animal. Um, I do believe that they could uh, help everyone and anyone with whatever the case may be. One second, I'm trying to get you all set up so that I can uh, hold you up a little bit higher. All right. Well, I was starting off over here and.
working my o way over. As you guys can see, we've got the Ontario Electric Electricity Support Program. We've got the leaf filter. When you're disabled, you don't necessarily want to get up and onto your uh, onto your roof and uh, try and get the leaves out of your gutters. They've got a, a nice fine micron screen there that definitely helps to keep it all nice and clean. It's a good idea with the finer screens. I remember the older ones with the fake screens. Stuff used to get caught on them all the time. Yep. And for the disabled, excellent idea. That way none of us have to get out and take it. <laughs> all right. Let's, uh, let's continue on. Let's see. Everybody. We got to try and get everybody in. Oh, sorry, brother. Yeah, our friends over at CNIB. We've got Lift Park PT. This company, they sit there and the machine actually goes up and down stairs from what I've seen this weekend. Look, look how this thing works. This thing is something else. Look at that. To help get you up and down those stairs with the help of your support person or family member, maybe your significant other. Look at that. Nice, safe, easy way up and down. And it'll sit there automatically and do it so that you don't have to worry about it. Look at that. That's awesome. Makes life so much easier. Check them out. Lift cart PT. You'll be able to find them on Google. And uh, they'll be able to definitely help you. And look, they even have it so that you can hook it up to your, uh, to your manual chair. Get it up and down and on your way. All right. Let's see here. Next. This is a Chell chair. These are a little on the different side. I have to admit, I really like them. It's a really good concept. Uh, this is what I like to call a uh, quote unquote a dancing wheelchair. Um, it actually pivots side to side. This one actually comes with a rear view camera. Um, this thing has got all the wicked bells and whistles. Leg movement, back movement, recline feature, posterior and anterior tilt. Absolutely astonishing device. Look at this thing. It's, it's tilting to the side. How many how many chairs do you know that'll do that? Here, I gotta get it from behind. No, nobody will believe that online there. See, look, see? Just normal. Off to the one side, you're going over that uneven train. Look, now you can go to the one side or the other. Oh my word. That's the kind of stuff that you want to see in a chair. Gets you up and around, all over the place. Got nice tail lights on it, keep you going. Look at that thing. Let's see. The motion concepts for manual chairs. Wonderful devices. All right, we're going the other side, aren't we, Tiff? Because we've already done this way. Can you spell? Back it up. Tip. Come on, I thought we have. We were going to finish up. Sorry, everybody. I'm not quite sure what happened there. Here we go. The rest of. This table here from Ontario Accessibility. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes, we are. We're broadcasting live right now. Oh, wow. What are you guys broadcasting for? Um, we run a foundation. Uh, so we're broadcasting on there as well as 
I have our GoPro, so we're doing a uh, YouTube video. Uh, Try and help show everybody what's available out there so that uh, they can get the help that they need. Yeah, some of the people that we work with are down in the U.S., some are, you know, all around the world. So, so we try our best to get as much information out as we can. Thank you so much. So, yeah, we got to go finish that side. Estelle, turn around, baby. Bye-bye. <laughs> <coughs> yes. Uh, we did a little bit of it. Uh, this is Guantum's new chair that allows you to do a little bit more outdoorsy stuff. Neat design. I drove it yesterday. I like it. You drove it Friday. Uh, sorry, yes, Friday. I like it. It's a good little device. Comes with the eye level, um, back leg movement, all the movements that we require. It has it. And look over there, there's the rival that's all get it up and going and all that. There's the edge too. And we've already showed you guys the edge Yes, we have. Uh, these are our friends over at Per Mobile. I have heard amazing things about these seats. I personally have never used one. I think it might be too squishy for me. But um, from the looks of it, you can control it via an air pump so it will con conform to your body a little bit more. Yep, might as well. We also haven't done pride, I, we haven't done pride yet either. We'll finish. Yeah, we're going to finish with Per Mobile first. Okay, guys. This is the F3. This thing is pretty, pretty, pretty sweet, man. This one's outfitted with a uh, robotic arm. So that people who, say, are missing an arm or uh, not able to do it themselves are able to sit there, feed themselves, drink water, um pretty much hold and do anything that a regular hand would. Here's the M3. This thing is a pretty neat machine as well. It's a center wheel just like what mine is. Um, it's a really good design. Um, the front ones, from what I understand, are supposed to be better for the off-roady stuff and wintry things and all of that. I'm gonna come around here. Now, if you want the Cadillac of all of the per mobile devices, this is it, the M5. This one is supposed to have all the bells and whistles. As you can see, it's got a pretty big button panel over there. Power everything. Wonderful bloody machine. Um, I don't think so. I, I, know, I, I know a lot about the machines that are here. What we're doing is we're uh, helping to show some of the uh, people that we work with all over the world what's available over here, what they can hopefully, yeah. well, hopefully what they can get, because some stuff, well, some of our patrons, they're not able to get out to here today, so at least they know what they can turn around and say to their OT and say, look, I've heard that this is available, I think this will work for me, or I've heard this will work for me. We would absolutely love that. Oh, that would be awesome. Yeah, if we could get a couple of those, that would be absolutely awesome. Five, ten, that sounds good to us. We have lots. So it's, um, well, we run a, oh, no, 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 we understand that. I'm not carrying 3,000 home. So, yeah, so, you know, yeah, that, that's why we're, we're carrying little bits of information from everybody so that we can post the information. We're going to tag her mobile in the uh, tags once we get home. And, um, you know, hopefully you guys are able to get people what they need. Um, everything. A little bit of everything would be awesome. Thank you so much. My name is Ian. Nice to meet you. This is Tiffany. Tiffany. Yes, it is.
It's actually uh, a Spider-Man Batman one. Yeah, one of the little knockoffs, he but works the same. He sits on his wheelchair. He sits on his wheelchair because of accessibility. He's able to put it on his side. Yes. We have. I was gonna say that. We we did it once. I wanted to see what was going to happen. He's a bit bigger. He's um, like because she'll, I wanted to see what was going to happen with her as opposed to our male dog, okay. who's not a service animal. Interesting. Just a with him, I got 45 minutes of him licking his uh, stuff. With her, I got 45 minutes of her waiting for me at the door. She's not used to it. That's right. She's always there to take care of me, to make sure that I'm okay. She is a Beagle Bloodhound Australian Sheepherd. She is a true Heinz 57, but one of those. Oh, wonderful. She's a hug. What do you think a hug is? I'm going to say a husky and a pug. It is. So she looks like a 20 pound husky. If you can imagine that. I'm 20 pound husky, but with a little floopy down ears like a pug. Oh, that's cute. I absolutely love it. What is that? I think I've never seen anything like it. But with the Australian Shepherd, I kind of got that with the uh, with the modeling colors. colors yeah, I, she. I that's wonderful. Thank you so much. Well, yeah, so well it's to help keep her uh, on focus. Yeah, she gets is. distracted yeah. easily because of the beagle. But she's a very attentive dog, very attuned. She, loves other dogs. she picks yeah. up on <laughs> she picks up on people's character very quickly. And she knows when people love her, and she's like, "Come on, like." Really I know you want to give me love. <laughs> she didn't even know we had a dog with us, and then it's like it wasn't until like she stuck her head there, scared to death, right? Well, that's the difference between the way that she was trained as opposed to the way that you see some of the other ones. Like, don't get me wrong, I have her socialized at a very young age, but at the same time, I, I wanted to keep her at a distance. Her major problem right now is she always wants to go and play. Yeah. She's just under three, so it's just her age. See, she's focusing on that one now. She's like, oh, I want to go play, I want to go say hi. So mine's terrible. Uh, 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 okay, focus. Focus. Nope, that's that's great. We got about five or six. <laughs> yeah, here, here, here. Yeah. It's okay. No, it's okay. Sure? I got it. Yep. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. I got it. Yeah, that'll be alright. Let me grab the shopping bag. <laughs> and I'll be right back soon. Alright, thank you so much. She's gonna walk around with all the devices and stuff. Is that what she's walk around and pick up all the information for I got this at one of the other shows myself. Yeah, I was going to say, that looks like a People in Motion show. We were there. Exactly. Thank you so much, my dear. Oh, yeah, that's wonderful. Thank you very much. We greatly appreciate it. Well, we like the, I know we were looking at the M5, the M3, and all that for him. Uh, yeah. So we've been looking at a few different wheelchairs. Oh, I want to give you one more thing. Yes. So, uh, let's see this product over here. Awesome. Okay. Okay. <coughs> They do products out of wear specifically. Oh, okay. I was going to ask, where do you buy them? Okay. Yeah, that's what I've been. I'm going to get dressed for him. Seconds. It covers your controls and cover the back of your chair. Really? That's what we've been doing. Oh, man. So we're giving away one a month for our Facebook this year. Okay. We're going to buy the F5 standing chair, like the VS. Yeah. We get them automatically. Oh, that's awesome. But seriously, can I can I track putting it on you? Sure, yeah. by all means. Let me this down. Oh, here, let me take that off. Yeah, that just lifts up. Because his issue, he 
he travels to Mississauga twice a week, yeah. no matter the weather. Yeah. And his no issue no is, matter. this is like a separate fleece liner. It used to be built in, so you could either wear the fleece liner by itself. Oh, okay. So it becomes like a three season coat. That's awesome. Just put it on the back of the Oh wow! Yeah. Oh, 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 o
Now this is the one that Miss Bell and I are used to going in all the time. This is the same one that you'll notice from one of, well, you might not notice it yet, but uh, one of my other videos that I've done in the past on our GoPro is in a van that is identical to this. Um, same setup, same little lift up, wonderful setup. You can get right up front, wicked van. I highly recommend it. Spell. You see here here's another one where the seats can be brought in and out. As you can see with that one it's out, it's sitting right there. It allows everyone to be able to sit up front or if you have the modifications and a chair it'll allow you to be able to get in and out of your driver's seat without an issue. Really good idea. Now one company that I do like working with from time to time is Pride because my chair is made by Guantum which is a Pride product. Now as some of you may know I have a rickshaw king. This is Pride's version of it, but they actually went a step further, and uh, yeah, it looks the same as the Emos, the um, um, Dragons, and Daymac, and all of that. That's just because they use the same shell. The chassis, the tires, battery system, motor, everything is completely different. Uh, instead of it being a 48 volt, it is a 24 volt. Um, 20, group 24, I believe, were the batteries on it. Really nice shock and strut system on it. Some of the little go-go's. These things are handy little devices. They fold up real small. There's new ones that are even, uh, you can even drive them around while they're folded up. Oh, whoa, 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 that's weird, man. That's, that's pretty cool. Um, that's, that's it. Um, I think. It's about out and around. Yeah, we just couldn't get, like, the special needs resource center, which is fine. We've already been packing up, so we have to get back to start packing up. We have oh, actually, you have to get over there. Sorry, ma'am. Like I say, I'm not super concerned about it, no, Tiffany. Let's they've, go. Got, they've got a lot to deal with and right stop. now. Stop. You're going. I'm sorry, I don't care. It's something that you want to do. Yeah, but I can live with it. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, it'll make you happy forever, man. Ah, I'll be happy when I buy one of my own. That too, but... No, I'm being I'm trying to be serious. Okay, we're going. That didn't work. Guys already got somebody sitting in there. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry, guys. You know, well, once they're finished doing what they're doing. Yeah. Just taking a look at that wiki bag. Let's go. Focus, focus, focus. Hey everybody, this is the Trackmaster. This is the chair that I'm talking to everybody about. Up and over everything and anything. Look at that thing. Big powerful lights, big huge motors on the back end, and the built-in 20 amp charge. This thing is beast. From Active Healthcare Solutions. Oh, we put the video on Facebook and we tagged you guys. You know what I like? What? I love that. I got to be this. He said that. Yeah, I, I was like, 
This chair can be asphyxiated with any any appliance chair. The base is the important part. That's the part that goes through everything. Check that out. The MK1X Wicked Machine. Very powerful. Decent size. It looks good. It feels good. I drove it just up the way there and back yesterday. I, I highly recommend it.